What's up, you guys? My name is Mary. I'm with High Priestess Intuition. Welcome, my current subscribers, and welcome, 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 newbies. If you guys are new to my channel and you enjoy my content, you can smash the sub button to be notified for future readings. This is a general um, general collective reading. Caps inside you, everybody in between. Don't forget the basics. Time is fluid. Energy is fluid. If it doesn't apply, let it fly. Everyone has free will. Only take the messages that resonate with you. Uh, free general reading. So very important. Only take the messages that resonate. Um, thanks, everybody, for all the love and support to the channel. Um, I truly appreciate all the likes, subscribe, shares, and shares of the channel, um, word of mouth, and social media. If you'd like to donate, it's High Priestess Tarot 5. The link's in the description box below. PayPal only, no cash app, no Venmo. I do not have YouTube live on at this current moment, so you can't do it through the public YouTube way right now, but you're welcome to donate privately if you would like to. All donations are greatly appreciated. Single mom and two kids, so just saying. Okay, so the channel message I received was... Um, Someone's about to find out they're not the father soon. It's going to create many series of chain events. Um, moving away from a karmic for good is what I heard. So um, that's strong. So you plug it in how it resonates. Um, and we have blossoming abundance on the bottom of the deck. So I think uh, whoever this is, whoever you are, um, that I heard you're about to move away from your karmic for good. You're about to find out you're not the father. I think... Um, you're obviously with a karmic, either sexually or in a relationship, or you could be married to them. However, that resonates in your life. But um, you have, you're sexually connected them to them, obviously, to the point that they have you thinking or wanting you to think that you are the father of their child. Um, you are a masculine energy or a transsexual with masculine and feminine parts. However, that resonates in your life. Uh, but you have penile part to impregnate. So, um... But however that resonates, um, your karmic is, um, and it's a feminine energy, um, or a transsexual that, you know, has, um, parts to produce a child, a womb and things of that nature. Um, they have you thinking that you are the father of this child. Um, but paternity testing, it sounds like, um, through many series of chain events, i.e. paternity testing, I'm failing is about to prove you're not the father. Uh, now, whether it is someone currently pregnant or uh, already produced child in the universe, you have to plug it in your life however that resonates, if it resonates for you. I feel it can go both ways. I feel for some, your karmic is currently pregnant and they're trying so hard, so, ho so, so, so hard to make you believe that you are the father, um, but you're about to get a paternity test. And for some, the child's already here and you have suspected in the past you're not the father, and you're going to get a paternity test. However that resonates in your life. But however it resonates, um, whether it's a child currently gestating in the womb or a child already here in the universe, you're about to find out you're not the father, and how you're going to finally move away from the karmic for good. So I think for a lot of you guys, if this resonates for you, you have stayed in this relationship for the kid or kids. How that resonates. Um, for some, it could be for somebody, like I said, pregnant right now, and they're, oh, it's your kid, oh, it's your kid, oh, it's your baby, oh, it's your baby, but which, you know, what they're not telling you is they have three side pieces, possibly. Um, you plug it in how it resonates. But kudos to you, kudos to you, masculine energy or, or ma um, transsexual energy, however that resonates. Um, kudos to you. Um, for doing it because it sounds like once you get the cold hard evidence and proof that you're not you're going to completely separate away from karma um i think for your mental health and your physical health and for everything for you health and obviously for your money blossoming abundance i think they've been either stealing from you or taking way too much um um maybe you do child support behind the back um behind the scenes or you do it legally and they already, they ask you for this and ask you for this and ask you for this and a Louis Vuitton bag and a pair of stilettos and what have you. So you plug it in how it resonates. Okay. I feel guided to get one more. We've got rest and rejuvenation upright, yin and yang upright, and second chakra on the bottom of the deck. Okay. Second, some second chakra is um, GI tract. It's GI tract. So maybe you've been having 
stress, anxiety, worry, fear. Um, when chakras are blocked for the second chakra, which is in your GI tract, um, you can have severe constipation, severe anxiety, severe, um, it could be possible depression, severe anxiety, like I said, constipation, diarrhea, um, just real um, pains in your stomach um, when your chakra is blocked. And whoever this is, I feel your chakra is blocked. Your second chakra is blocked because of this toxic relationship. It's a toxic relationship, whoever um, this is, because they've been lying to you. They've been lying to you. They have been freaking lying to you. Okay, I heard take them. Um, that it's your kid and it's not. Um, but I think you're getting a wake up call and you're about to do a test. Um, that's exactly what I think. For some, I feel you could have already done the test because I heard you're about to find out you're not the father. So for some, you could have already done the test and you're awaiting results. For some, I feel you could about to be doing the test. We and um. And with the blossom abundance on the bottom, when I heard you were going to separate from them, I feel they either have been taking way too much money from you, like take, 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 taking the hell out of you, um, and like leaving you high and dry in the money department. That's exactly what I feel for some. Number 19, 22, 13, or 1 could be very significant numbers in one's life, possibly. 19, 22, 13, or 1, these could be possible ages of children, the 13 and the 1. Could be possible age of child or children, maybe your child or somebody you're connected to's child, or a child that you think is yours. Um, 13 and 1, possibly. Also, 19 and 22 could be possible ages of you or somebody you're connected to, adult ages. Um, 19, 22, 13, 1. They also could be significant date of birth numbers, social security card numbers, green card number, lottery number, jersey number, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, or reoccurring numbers you're seeing out in the universe in some shape, form, or fashion, resting and rejuvenation, upright. You are going to feel so free when you're finally able to get away from this person. Okay, I heard you're going to feel so free when you fi are finally able to get away from this person. So you're going to be able to relax. I feel for some, you're having severe anxiety around this person. I feel this person gives you severe anxiety. You're not able to um, sleep, possibly, for some. You're up all night. You're worrying all night. Um, they pro I think they drain your bank account, so you're worried about money, and you're worried about other things, and you're just worried, worried, worried all the freaking time. I feel lots of anxiety here. So I feel some of the rest of rejuvenation will be able to relax um, your mind and possibly get some sleep, like physical sleep is what I'm feeling for some. But you will definitely be able to relax. I heard you're going to feel free. And let me tell you, I understand that. Um, there's a reason I've been single for so long. Um, and I'm serious about that. Yin and yang. For some, there's someone you're very interested in, but you did not make moves towards this person in the past. This person is completely different than your karmic. But you have really learned a lot about yourself and grown, have grown a lot. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. So, hey, I heard that. You hear me? We need to cut it out. Okay, I'm sorry. Um, so um, I apologize. Um, but yeah, so I heard um, you basically, so for some of you, I feel you've been wanting to move away from this person for a while. But I feel you've stuck around either in a third party situation, a co parenting situation, or a actual relationship or marriage because you think this child is yours. But I heard you're about to learn they're not. So it's about to completely change the game for you. I mean, however that plugs in your life, whether it's um, you think, whether it's, a, you know, it was a fling in the past and it's your child, they want you to believe it's your child and you're not with them or situationship or a third party or a relationship or a, um, a marriage, how that resonates. But it's going to change the game for you. Game changer energy. Um, you'll be free. You'll be able to relax. And yeah, 
Um, and anybody that's in any kind of stressful relationship that another person causes severe stress, anxiety, worry, fear all the time, that's not healthy. If anybody needs to hear that, I mean, it's just really not. But um, yin and yang, I heard basically for some, you have someone that you have been interested in. And apparently you've been interested in them for a while, but you did not make moves towards them because I think for a lot, you were afraid. You were afraid to make moves towards them. Um, and you were kind of, I think, complacent and comfortable with where you were at. No, I didn't hear that. That's just what I'm feeling. I'm feeling you didn't have enough self-confidence in yourself to really boss it up and leave this person or get a paternity test in the past, but you're about to do it. And once you learn you're not the kid, um, the kid's father or kid father or or person baby gestating in the womb's father, how that resonates, you're about to you're about to roll. You're about to roll. You're about to go. Um, you find I heard you've really grown a lot. You've really grown a lot. And I feel for some, you're going to move towards this other person or communicate with them at least. I don't feel like physically move to the, towards them like, hey, I'm here. Hey, I'm here. No, not like that. I think maybe open the door to communication with the one you were interested in that you never made moves towards in the past, if that makes sense. That's exactly what I'm feeling for some of you guys. Um, but the yin and yang here I'm feeling is the difference in the... Um, and I feel for whoever this is for, it's a feminine energy you're interested in. For some, it could be a masculine, but I say fem because um, the person that you're moving away from is a fem energy. So I feel for a lot of you guys, it's another fem energy. For some, it could be masculine. But whether it's masculine or fem, you're moving, want to move towards, towards it's like opening communication, doors of communication. Um, masculine or fem. They're completely opposite of the karmic that you're connected with in some shape, form, or fashion now. But you're highly intuitive and you know this. So in this aspect, yin and yang is differences of the feminine energies or people that one you are connected with and they have you brainwashed or had you brainwashed thinking that you were this child's father or children's father or... Baby in the womb, gestating father. How that resonates. But you're about to learn the truth. Financial constraints. This person has drained you financially badly. And you're getting a huge wake up call here. Okay, so you plug it in how it resonates. This, ooh. This is a terrible karmic reading, but good for you. Good for you because you're about to, you're bossing it up, man. You're about to get out, out of Dodge. And at this point, once you find out you're not the child or children's father, it's going to give you completely leeway to, to move free like a bird. So absolutely, kudos to you. But I heard this person has completely drained you financially. So financial constraints, that would make sense because we had blossoming abundance on the bottom of the deck when I heard basically you're about to be broke free. So they've drained you financially, your money, I feel your money's going to go up, your happiness is going to go up, your, probably your health is going to go up, and you have the financial constraints coupled, connected to the sun card. So this person has, karmic has drug you down financially, but it's about to make you happy when you um, free fly like a buddy, my dear, away from the situation. Just saying. Sun upright, which is um, illumination of information or happiness. Um, illumination of information um, as far as you're not the father energy, whether you've already gotten the paternity test and you're awaiting results or you're about to get the paternity test and you're going to get the results. Illumination of information in that way. Also illumination of information, I think, as far as I heard you've grown inside yourself. So I think it's also illumination and awakening inside yourself that you've realized you've outgrown this person. You've outgrown this person and you're elevating and this person is free willingly keeping their soul stuck and stagnant in karmic land over here and you want to move on. And I don't blame you. Also, I feel this is also physical happiness when you actually break free from the situation and able to move free to either open up doors of communication to this other person that you've been interested in forever 
and that you want to communicate with for some or just move on and just be single however that resonates or go through a divorce or however that resonates in your life um for some you could be dealing with a leo or it could be a leo you're breaking away from however that resonates or you could be a leo however that resonates um because this is leo energy if you are dealing with the leo or you are a leo you could have leo in your sun moon rising venus ortho medium or jupiter charts if you are let me see if i hear anything else Okay, I didn't. I didn't. All right, you guys, we're done. I hope this helped. Um, seriously, I love you guys so much. If you think this uh, video could help anybody else, you wouldn't mind sharing my videos on your social media and word of mouth. Very much appreciate it. Love you guys. Namaste.